Hi, my name is Ian with Isolated Projects. Today we're going to talk about weight loading. The most important factor to consider when selecting a sorbethane isolator for your next project is proper weight loading. The proper weight load is easy to calculate. First, you need to know the total weight of the item which you wish to isolate. Second, you need to know how many isolators you will use. In general, fewer isolators provides less contact points for vibration to transfer between the surface and the object. Four is normally an ideal number of isolators. And in an example of a 40 pound object supported with four isolators, we would divide 40 by four to find that our total weight loading is 10 pounds. We can now select a proper isolator for the project. All of our isolators come in multiple durometers. Durometer refers to the softness of the sorbethane material. To find out more about durometer, check out this video. In general, so a different durometer allows us to tune the pad. So a smaller pad with a firmer durometer will support the same as a larger pad with a softer durometer. This allows you to find the ideal thickness, diameter, or shape of an object from our catalog to fit your project. We often get asked why we don't offer weight load ratings for our larger pads and sheets of sorbethane. This is because weight load is calculated based on an even weight distribution across the entire pad. It's very difficult to evenly load a pad or sheet of sorbethane. We therefore recommend that for the best vibration isolation, you choose one of our hemispheres, pads, discs, mounts, or leveling mounts. These offer the best tuning. To properly load your sorbethane, choose the weight loading and then apply it to your object. This will allow the sorbethane to compress by about 10 to 20%. At this point, the internal structure of the sorbethane will begin to behave like a fluid, providing you with the up to 94.7% vibration reduction that you need. Thanks for joining us with Isolated Projects.